The insane punishment when you betray the Jalisco Cartel. When they glance back to explore the source of the commotion, all they discover is one cartel killing off the other to gain greater power, leaving behind the booming sounds of gunfire and explosions. The CJNG has achieved untouchable status through a variety of blood-curdling tactics. It's safe to say that horrific criminal activities were committed to acquire this rank. Have you ever heard of the CJNG, one of the world's most powerful and violent drug cartels? If you're not already familiar with them, you're going to discover why those who dare to cross them are terrified. We'll take you on a heart-pounding journey into the dark and dangerous world of the CJNG in this video, investigating what happens when someone dares to betray this vicious organization. Prepare yourself for a crazy trip, because this is what happens when you cross the CJNG. Who is in charge of the CJNG cartel, and what did they give up to become Mexico's most powerful cartel? Mexico has been littered with cartels for as long as most people can remember, but it may interest you to hear that the CJNG cartel only recently entered the ranks. The Millennial Cartel and the Sinaloa Cartel, or the Sacrificial Lambs, both propelled the CJNG up the cartel ladder. The CJNG, or Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generación, is a Mexican criminal organization that has grown to become one of the world's most powerful and feared drug trafficking groups. The CJNG was created in 2010 by Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, popularly known as El Mincho, a former Milenio Cartel member. The CJNG has quickly developed to become one of Mexico's most notorious criminal groups since its creation. They have grown their operations by forming alliances with other criminal organizations and bribing government officials and law police. To keep control over their territory, the CJNG is known for using excessive brutality and intimidation tactics. They have committed various acts of violence, including torture, beheadings, and mass murders. They are not afraid to use any means required to eliminate their adversaries, and their vicious tactics have earned them a reputation as one of the world's most feared criminal organizations. Despite the efforts of the Mexican government and law enforcement, the CJNG has expanded its operations both domestically and internationally. They are a powerful and deadly criminal organization that endangers the safety and security of those who live within its borders. In the next few minutes of our video, we will delve deeper into the CJNG's history and operations, as well as law enforcement's efforts to dismantle this dangerous criminal organization. The CJNG was created in 2010 by Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, better known as El Mencho. El Mencho was born in the Mexican state of Michoacan in the little village of Aguililla. He came from a poor household and dropped out of school when he was young to work in the fields. He eventually moved to a life of crime, becoming involved in drug trafficking. How was CJNG formed? Initially, the Millennial Cartel had allied with the Sinaloa Cartel. The agreement stated that the Millennial Cartel's head, Oscar Orlando Nava Valencia, would oversee the Sinaloa Cartel's drug shipments as well as manage the cartel's finances. However, the Millennial Cartel began to disintegrate following Valencia's arrest in 2009 and the murder of Sinaloa Cartel head Ignacio Coronel Elias Nacho in 2010. The logical thing to do following a former capo's incarceration is to choose another capo, but that wasn't the issue. The issue is determining who would become capo. The cartel members were divided into separate factions, and each faction chose its leader. The Millennial Cartel eventually divided into two groups due to their failure to achieve a common decision. It's also crucial to note that, while the Sinaloa Cartel was a component in the creation of the CJNG, it did not have the same issues as the Millennial Cartel. All hell broke loose once the Millennial Cartel divided into two factions. While one faction was known as La Resistencia, which refers to the resistance, the other was known as Los Torcidos, which translates to the Twisted Ones. As the situation worsened, La Resistencia went even further, stating that Los Torcidos were to blame for the death of their capo, Oscar Orlando Nava Valencia. This charge dashed any possibility of both parties reconciling and reuniting. 
Things deteriorated as both gangs fought for control of the drug trafficking operations in Jalisco. Of all, it is no secret that the desire for power can lead to many unfathomable actions, and these groups were no exception. They were not opposed to going to war. Fortunately, it didn't last long. Los Torcidos eventually won, forcing La Resistencia to capitulate. To assure their victory, the group's leader, Nemesio Ulsuguera Cervantes, alias El Mincho, launched a propaganda campaign that elevated them not just over La Resistencia, but also just above other rival gangs. By the time Los Torcidos gained a reputation in Mexico, the organization had begun to identify as a separate cartel and had changed its name to Cartel de Jalisco Nueva Generación. The CJNG began as a tiny group, but it swiftly rose to prominence and influence in the world of drug trafficking. They were able to expand their operations through collaborations with other criminal groups, and they became infamous for using violence and intimidation to maintain control over their territory. The CJNG's willingness to employ extreme violence to remove their adversaries was one of the grounds for their swift climb to power. They were responsible for a slew of atrocities, including mass murders, beheadings, and torture. This merciless attitude to dealing with their adversaries earned them the distinction of being one of Mexico's most dreaded criminal groups. Despite law enforcement efforts to disband the CJNG, the group has grown and expanded its operations both within Mexico and beyond. As we move forward, we will look more closely at CJNG's activities and operations, as well as the influence they have had on the people and communities in their territory. El Mencho was more than just the leader of Los Toritos. In reality, that was the only the beginning for him. The CJNG is alleged to have been created by the merciless drug lord alongside his senior lieutenants, now incarcerated, Erica Valencia, alias L-85, and the late Martin Arzola Ortega, alias L-53, both of whom were members of the Millennial Cartel. Consequences of Betrayal Today, the CJNG is infamous for its dramatic public demonstrations of violence, employing the most extreme methods. This impression evolved. The rate of violence and kidnapping in Jalisco skyrocketed shortly after its inception. Then, there was the discovery of a plethora of graves in various locations in Jalisco. One of the cartel's first operations was against the Zetas Drug Trafficking Organization in Veracruz State, which went by the title Mata Zetas or Zetas Killers. Some people assume that each of the aforementioned aliases is another name for CJ and G. While this has not been confirmed, the Zeta Killers may be a particular task group inside CJNG that handles the majority of the cartel's assassinations. This story arose when the organization was recognized as being responsible for the murders of approximately 35 persons in Veracruz in 2011. Only a month after the massacre, Mexican police discovered 30 dead remains, reportedly identified as massacre victims. CJNG was held accountable for an incident that killed five police officers in March 2015. The incident confirmed to Mexican officials that the cartel possessed very advanced equipment, including machine guns and grenade launchers. Also, one of the CJNG operations that will most certainly remain a fresh wound is the April 2015 ambush of Mexican police personnel. The officers were trapped and constantly shot at by members of the CJNG, killing roughly 15 of them. If that wasn't enough, on the first day of the following month, members of the CJNG shot down a military helicopter, sending the entire state of Jalisco into a frenzy. Thank you for watching this video about the CJNG and its ruthless tactics. Sharing this video and raising awareness of organized crime can help make communities safer. Together, we can make a difference and stand up to the brutality and harm perpetrated by criminal organizations such as the CJNG.